Welcome to the 2014 Nonprofit Trinity Awards. I'm your host, Crystal Brockton, and tonight on the red carpet, we will be celebrating business leaders and volunteers who impact their communities. Hello, I'm Apostle Gloria W. Wright. I'm the pastor of Dayspring International Ministries, and I'm a friend of the Hortons. I'm an author uh, because I march with Dr. King, and my book is entitled From the Back of the Line. I'm here because last year I was a presenter, and the first year I helped uh, Mrs. Horton to get this whole thing started. It is absolutely beautiful, and as you can see, we're growing, and this is the third year, and I'm so, so proud of her and everyone who's working with her. So it's good to be here. My husband was on it last year, Mr. Daniel Wright, but he's not here tonight. But I'm here to represent the family. What is some advice that you would give a young person that comes to you um, for advice? Well, in as much as I taught high school 25 years at Mays and Harper, uh, I do have students who come to me. And uh, when they want to start their own business and they want to become entrepreneurs, first of all, I try to encourage them and tell them that they can do it. And number two, I tell them they need to get an education, not necessarily a college education, because we think that everybody has to go to college, and that's not true. But they need to get some kind of degree or specialty, if it's refrigeration or whatever, if it's uh, car washing or whatever, a beautician or braiding hair. We know that these students who are going to school and they're graduating and they have no place to go, they have no money to go to college, it doesn't make sense that they don't start a business. Right. And a 501c3 is really good once they get established and Mrs. Horton does those and so she, got, she does a good job by the way. So I would say to them, never give up, whatever your dream is, pursue it. Thank you so much. What is, what is something that you do on a regular to show your support in your church and in your community? I am called at Beulah to serve and to assist my pastor. So on a weekly basis, uh, I head our PR marketing efforts to make sure that Beulah is promoted and that our pastor is promoted as we all together promote the Word of God and spread the Word of God. This year our pastor has led us to be about kingdom business. We're preparing people for the kingdom of God in 2014. So on a daily basis, we're working to make sure that the vision that our pastor has been given by God is ran in the church, it, it comes alive in our community. We have our Beulah News each week uh, that I'm responsible for, uh, making sure that our church is made aware of our pastor's vision and those activities that our ministries are holding that all come together to support preparing you for the kingdom of God in 2014. Awesome. And then from this angle, it all makes a star. I'm a teacher. Let me tell you what I make. I make learning a privilege, not a chore. And frustration, a tool, not an obstacle. I make working hard seem easy and giving up impossible. And everybody look up. I make an old subject feel like a fresh thought. What's your reaction? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And unconventional methods. Uh, okay, what else? Common. This is their world. There's nothing. And then they die. Go ahead, go, go, go. I'm a teacher. I make. I'm only 17, but I know about investing. Believe in something, buy shares in it, watch it grow. So what if you could invest in the future? The future of kids, like a stock. Not the kind of stock that's about making money, but a stock for social change. A whole new kind of investment called Better Futures. When you invest, it helps kids go to college. I could be one of the first college graduates from my family, the first philanthropist from my neighborhood. And if I'm the first, then maybe there's a second and a third. Believe in us, invest in us, watch us grow. My name is Sydney and I'm your dividend.
one way that you promote creative thinking within your ministry? Well, I teach our people that um, much of life begins with an idea. And if you have great ideas, we should not dismiss those ideas as just some fleeting thought. Take those ideas, package those ideas, because our wealth is really in the ideas that God gives us. And a lot of times we don't take advantage of those ideas, those thoughts that come to our mind, those inventions sometimes that are in our mind, and we just dismiss it. Take those ideas, develop those ideas, and you'll find that that's where your wealth is, is in developing those ideas. Yeah. Um, being a role model in your community and a nominee here tonight at the Nonprofit Awards, well, the Nonprofit Trinity Awards, um, what is something that you feel is most important that people take away from tonight? I think that whenever an organization comes together to honor people who do good work, it's important that we uh, appreciate that because a lot of times what happens in our communities, we get a lot of publicity and recognition for the bad things that happen. But there are people who are doing good things and we need to recognize them and we need to appreciate them. And unfortunately, when people are being recognized for their good work, the media is not there. But if there was a shooting here tonight, then of course there would be a lot of publicity. Uh, and so we have to take it upon ourselves to support those who are getting recognized for their good efforts and their good work. And being a board member of such an illustrious organization, um, you know, how does it make you feel at the end of the day when you can go home and you can say, wow, I've contributed in such a great way to so many organizations and to my community? Okay. Well, first of all, um, every organization, nonprofit or volunteers, are usually the meat of their own organization. Uh, there's times that they take money out of their own pockets to uh, run their own business. They're the janitors. If you're a restaurant owner, you may be a cook. Uh, you know, you, you do everything, you know, as a nonprofit and a volunteer. And so they're behind the scenes. And what makes me feel great about this is that they do not get the recognition that they deserve. And we're able to do this in such a lavish way and uh, show them that even though you're behind the scenes and you may not get the recognition that you deserve, then we're glad to be able to put you out there and put you before the public and put you first. It's not about us, it's all about them and their efforts and their labors. That's right, that's right. Are there any um, special organizations that you were a part of growing up that kind of made a difference in why you do what you do now? Uh, not necessarily an organization, uh, but my, my parents brought us up so well and they were givers and sharers and I'm just a giver and a service worker by nature. I'm a Christian. So Christian means that you are in service and whoever you can administer that service to, that's who you do it for because Jesus said if you do this for the least of mine, he said you have done it unto me and we're doing everything here as unto God. That's a good word. Thank you so much, Miss Glory. Thank you, Crystal. Have a great night. You too. Good evening. I want to welcome each and every one of you to the third annual nonprofit Trinity Awards. I count it an honor and a privilege to be here once again. This is the day that the Lord hath made. If we have life, we should rejoice and be glad in it. Can we say amen? You see, this is different. As I look over the audience and see all of your beautiful attire, the Oscar Awards are beautiful, the Tony Awards are beautiful, but it's nothing like the Trinity Nonprofit Award. You can put your hands together because if this is your first time, you are in for a treat. If you have been here for the past three years, you are going to be blessed. Remember, you are going to receive a great blessing tonight. And once again, I am honored to be the co MC. My name is Nadine, and it is an honor and a privilege to be here tonight again. Oh, I'm so sorry I can't see nobody's face. Oh. But it is an honor for me to be here tonight. I am so happy to, to be here to, um, to be a part of this for the third year in a row. God is good. Oh, thank you. Woo. Now I know who I'm speaking to. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Praise God. I believe in praising the Lord. 
In everything, we should praise the Lord and give thanks, right? Okay, so now back to the people that matters. <laughs> so, okay, are you ready to get started? Ready, okay. We're getting started now. The Nonprofit Trinity Awards Incorporated is a 501c3 nonprofit organization whose mission is to support, acknowledge, and honor individual volunteers and small nonprofit organizations for their resilient work, passionate commitment, and outstanding service within their local communities. A window of opportunity was given for all nominations to be submitted on behalf of individuals and organizations that are deserving to be recognized. Out of all of the nominations submitted, we had to narrow them down to select our finalists, which I must tell you was very hard because all are deserving. This is why we plan to do this again next year, the year after that, the year after that, and the year after that, and the year after that, and continue to do it. Can we say amen? Please put your hands together 
and give her a round of applause as she comes forward. So Thank you. 
They're coming. Please, is everybody. Light check. One, two, one, two. Everything looks good on our end. And lights. Come alive with the forest. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. This is the moment I knew. His future had no boundaries. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. Find yours at discovertheforest.org. Don't worry, the 74 people were picked before me in the NFL draft. To fight childhood obesity, United Way and the NFL are helping kids play more. To donate or volunteer, go to unitedway.org slash play60. Now I get it. Up, college is hard, down, those books are heavy. My sport is football, but my passion is education. Right up here. So every year I take promising high schoolers on a college tour to show them that higher education means a brighter future. <laughs> My name is Namdi Asamoa. I don't just wear the shirt, I live it. You can be a reader, tutor, or mentor too. Take the pledge at liveunited.org slash volunteer. If I got to go to college, oh my goodness. I like discovering new things. You get to see what works for you and what doesn't. That helps you evolve as a person. You get to make like a, a supernova of skill or talent or whatever it is. I've always wanted to go to college. I just feel like that's my destiny. My name is Queen and I am your dividend.